Hello, Virgos. Here we go with your horoscope for August 1st to the to the 31st of 2020. I want you to know what's going on. But don't shoot the messenger because, you know, this goes for all Virgos, not no set one. So don't go off on me, y'all. Don't hurt the messenger. All I want to tell y'all is here we go. Push that down if you want to see more of me. And the first card that came up was this. The first week would be partnership and alliance. This is my card means devoted that you're not, you're now starting to see the fruits of your labor. Take the seed and blossom. There may still be a lot to do, but watch out for characteristics which could bring opportunity to form connection and unexpected lines that will create something new for you. Okay, that first week, romance, harmony, the four of wands came up is romance, social harmony, newly acquaintance, acquaintance, prosperity, peace, tranquility, and the fruit of your labor, rest after strife, conquer, union, repose. It's time for you to take a rest and uh, straight and you go with it heads on. And the angel says, don't forget your opportunities that week. You hear what I'm saying, Virgo? Don't forget your opportunities that's gonna be happening. Then you have the second week you have Prosperity begins. This card is the beginning of wealth and new businesses, which could soon be in the palm of your hand. It may be a result of your hard work, past efforts and investments, or it could show up unexpectedly. May even present itself in a gift, which carefully planned recent endeavors and money-making ideas show great possibilities and promise a monetary gain. Okay, and then they said in that week two, you had the hermit, the hangman upside down, well, unwillingness to make necessary effort for occupy, but your ego, come on, Virgo, let your ego slide now, come on now. He says, false prophecy, uh, useless sacrifice, the inter don't waste your time, don't waste your moments. And it says, for the angels want you to clear, be clearly that week, communicate clearly the second week. The third week, you're going to be in your, okay, just a second. Um, in the third week, we're going to be in our called power. Here it is, the power card. This card re represents spiritual being. You are unlimited of power at the, your command. This card represents inner strength, willpower, courage, compassion, generosity, and love at any moment. These beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with the adventures, adverse conditions in front of you or may surrender your life. Set aside necessary time to resolve such issues. Power, power represents more than physical. In other words, you need to balance over your body, mind, and soul and which the power of spirit, anything can be overcome to achieve positive results. Use your power to get what you want. You can get it, Virgo. You got it in you. It's there. Don't give up. Then you have the seven of cups upside down. It says desire, determination, strong willpower, and the goal nearly a 10 intelligent choice, desire, will, re resolution. In other words, you gonna get your groove back, like they say. I want to say to complete, get your groove back, get your groove back. <laughs> and it says, the angel says, listen to your intuition will guide you to the third week. If you listen to your intuition, people. Okay. And then we have the card, which is solitude. This card means stop. Your soul is calling out the need to be honored and heard. The answers you seek aren't necessarily found in the outer world. The time has come for you to step to step back and within and withdraw from the outside communication. The solid card reminds you of how important it is to pause, still mind, meditate, reflect, reevaluate, and discover the wisdom that's already in you. You just needed the time to rest and to figure it out. Um, then you have that week. It said the crown chakra, which. That is a different color. I think, um, hold on. The crown. The crown chakra. Let's see. Okay, crown chakra, which is velvet. It says, I know. I know it's my time. My time to walk out there. I know 
what I'm supposed to do. I just got to believe in myself. And then this one is the Ten of Swords upside down for the last week. It says benefit, profit, temporary gain, improvement, passes, success, temporary flavor, monetary advantage. And then it says helpful people out there to help you. The angel said they will help you, but you know, just have to ask. But anyway, that sums it up. What I see in August, some of it, the 1st to the 31st that the angels wanted me to tell you. And then will y'all push that down if you like what I said. And uh, I will have more for you. And I thank y'all for just listening and subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it. So I can see you. Peace out. Peace out, Virgos. Have a good August of winter. Come first to third fight. Do your thing. It's going to be good for you. Watch out. God bless.